Hello, I'm Dr. Gary Arnold. If you wanted to ask yourself empowering questions versus disempowering affirmations, you know there's a lot of hype today about the law of attraction and thinking grow rich formulas, but empowering questions just help you feel good. It helps you process emotions at a higher level, it helps you cue your subconscious and your conscious mind to seek out solutions. You know that affirmations tell the brain and they can feel very external, they can feel disempowering, they can feel unauthentic, like you're just going through the motions. On the other hand, asking an empowering question asks the brain. It asks your mind to set itself into a seek mode. So I'm going to encourage you to use questions, quality questions, that you can actually manage or turn around a situation and start to focus on the solution. Whenever you catch yourself asking disempowering questions, just ask what has to happen. In other words, if you ask, why can't I ever do this right? Instead, ask, what has to happen for me to do this right? So, why do I always eat that? What ha instead of asking, what has to happen so that I'm going to eat right? Why is this so hard, disempowering? What has to happen so that this can be easier? That's an empowering question. Why am I so angry? What has to happen for me to get over this anger? Why am I always and then fill it in? Are you late? Are you stupid? Are you careless? Are you clumsy? Are you clueless? Get over that. If you're focusing on affirmations or questions about the past, like why are my best achievements in the past? Why are my best compliments in the past? When was the last time that I felt like a good laugh or I felt good? Or Again, it's a focus on the past. Get out of it. Think of the here and now and then ask empowering questions that don't focus on the problem, but they focus on the solution. When you focus on the problem, it leads to cyclical thinking. It starts you thinking of this negative thinking cycle, and the more you think negative, that downward spiral continues. If, if you look at what Martin Luther King said, he said, you know, darkness can't drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate can't drive out hate, only love can do that. That's the idea with an empowering thought. You want to have an empowering question that turns these 60,000 thoughts that you have that cross your mind every day and puts them onto a solution orientation. You want your mind in seek mode. Now, I'm going to encourage you to do what I do and I keep a notebook and I write down my um, empowering questions. I look at them and I say them. And the reason that I do that is that my subconscious and my conscious mind are going to pay much more attention if they both hear it and see it. So have some fun with the process. Keep a journal. Write a book. Turn it into an e-book. Focus on an empowering question and hear a few keys. Empowering questions usually start with a what or how, while disempowering questions start with a why. So let your mind effortlessly release your thinking power on solutions that are transformative. Let's take a look at a few empowering questions. What's the most important thing for me to do here and now? What can I learn from this here and now? How is peace possible here and now? What do I feel good about today? How can I monetize this? How can this help my personal development? What actions do I need to do today? so that I feel good about myself. I hope that you've enjoyed this small segment about asking empowering questions. Remember that it's as easy to ask an empowering question, in fact it's effortless, as it is to ask a disempowering question. By the way, if you ask a disempowering question, that turns your brain into a seek mode also, but it's for disempowering effect. Work it being cause. Work at being responsible for asking yourself, what's the best that you can be? And then let your brain help you find that solution. We'll see you again tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. Make it an outstanding day.